Jerusalem slash Gaza, Hamas is urging Palestinians to abandon peace efforts and launch a new uprising against Israel in response to US President Donald Trump's recognition of Jerusalem as its capital. Palestinian factions called for a day of rage on Friday, and on Thursday a wave of protest in the West Bank and Gaza brought clashes between Palestinians and Israeli troops. At least 31 people were wounded by Israeli gunfire and rubber bullets, medics said. Donald Trump's announcement that the US will move their Israel embassy to Jerusalem has been met with condemnation by leaders in the Middle East, Europe and the UN. Thai police have arrested three Australians and one Canadian affiliated with the Hells Angels biker gang during a raid in Pattaya. Minnesota Senator Al Franken has said that he will resign in coming weeks, with his announcement following several women accusing him of sexually inappropriate behavior. Officials say the Skirball fire in Los Angeles is only 5% contained, but that winds cooperated overnight, giving firefighters a chance to get ahead. U.S. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand of New York joined other Democrats on Wednesday calling for fellow party member Al Franken, the senator from Minnesota, to resign after new allegations of sexual misconduct against him. A U.S. federal investigator probing alleged Russian interference in the 2016 U.S. presidential election asked Deutsche Bank for data on accounts held by President Donald Trump and his family, but Trump's lawyer denied any such subpoena had been issued a Spain's Supreme Court has withdrawn an international arrest warrant for Catalonia's former leader, but he may still be detained if he attempts to return from self-imposed exile. Donald Trump's announcement that the US will move their Israel embassy to Jerusalem has been met with condemnation by leaders in the Middle East, Europe and the UN. The Israeli military said on Thursday evening two rockets had been fired towards Israel from the Hamas-ruled Gaza.